Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me, what are the conditions when I'm out on bail or bond in Florida? Florida Statute 903.047 lays out the standard conditions of pretrial release. They apply equally and across the board to anyone and everyone who gets released from custody pending further criminal court prosecution. There are only three standard conditions, and they're pretty simple. You've got a one, refrain from any criminal activity of any kind. Two, if a no-contact order is issued, then you must refrain from any contact of any type with the subject of the no-contact order, be it a place or a person. And three, you've got to comply with all conditions of pretrial release. However, and so long as the condition is reasonable and doesn't violate the Eighth Amendment's prohibition against excessive bail or cruel and unusual punishment, judges enjoy great discretion in setting bond and they are free to impose pretty much any other or additional condition which serves to reasonably protect society and to ensure the defendant's presence in court. For instance, a curfew, geographic restrictions, GPS monitoring, a scram bracelet, a no drink or a no drive order. These would all be perfectly legitimate restrictions depending upon the case and the client. In addition, anyone who's on any form of pretrial release in Florida is also and always subject to both being commanded to report at any time, as well as for random urinalysis. So if you're either out on bond or if you're released to pretrial services, you'd be very foolish to risk that freedom by taking unauthorized trips or using unauthorized controlled substances. That said, I thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked it, and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember that at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be putting out more soon.